Hi guys, just a quick look at the ultralight Warren Zero X beam I made. It is made from a 15 by 15 mm square aluminium tube. The wall thickness of the tube is 2 mm. It has all the necessary threads for mounting the linear rail as well as the M3 threads to mount it to the rest of the machine. The goal was to make the lightest X beam I could while still maintaining high stiffness. Let's talk about the weight. If you would go with the carbon fiber tube, which is 15 by 15 mm and has 1 mm wall thickness, it would be heavier than this X beam. I calculated it to be around 17 grams, without the needed thread inserts or nuts to mount the linear rail. The previous version I made is about 21 grams. Fail fast did a finite element analysis and according to the result it is more than capable of handling the forces of a fast printing environment. I calculated the stock X-beam to be around 60 grams. The ultralight X-beam is 14.2 grams. I did not test it yet, but fail fast, link in the description, has the honor to do it. I am quite curious to see what the results are. About machining. It took me a few days to come up with the process to hold and mill this X-beam. I mill it on a modded Nomad 883 from Carbide 3D. I would not suggest anyone doing it on such a machine. It is a huge pain even with the modded one. 50% of the time was invested to come up with workarounds for the quirks of my machine. It takes about 2 hours for every X-beam to be machined, including manual tool changes and flipping the parts. Since I have quite sharp inner corners, a small end mill is needed to clean those up. I don't have a flood cooling system which makes this whole process even more time consuming. The small end mill does not last long without cooling and spraying coolant manually for the whole operation is a bit annoying. So enough complaining. I wish I could produce more ultralight X beams for the community, but first I have to build a better CNC machine. This will take time, but once I'm finished, I will produce them on a small scale. With the bigger work area, flood cooling and automatic tool changes, it will minimize the time spent actively monitoring the machine and bring the price down. The ultralight X-Beam step file will be available after I got the chance to produce them on my new CNC. I don't want to give some Chinese CNC shop a free and easy head start with it. I hope you're doing well, take care and until the next time. Bye.